Dear students, I myself, Dr. Bharat Parap, discussing topic finding discount. Now we will see the definition first. Discount is reduction given on market price. Okay. And the mathematical calculations are discount equal to MP market price minus SP sale price. Okay. Some shops or some companies reduce the price of their product to increase the sale. Then market price minus the sell price is your discount that is given to you. Okay. So if it is given in rupees, that is the directly in rupees, or sometimes it is given in percentage, you need to calculate in rupees to get a clear idea. Okay. Now to understand this, we will see some examples. This is the first example that is a table marked at rupees 15,000. Okay, this is a market price 15,000 is available at rupees 14400. Okay, find the discount given and the discount is percentage that is discount given in rupees and in percentage. Now it is very easy to find in rupees as given clearly two values the discount is market price minus sale price the market price is 15,000 and this is 14400 you get 600 rupees. Now, direct price given is 600 rupees. Okay. Now, we need to calculate this in percentage. So, we write the equation of this type. We have learned how to write this in the earlier videos also. So, that is a discount is given on this side. Market price is given on this side or mark price is given on this side. So, this is 600 rupees is for 15,000 rupees. Okay. This is market price. So, if it is X, if discount is X, then how much is on 100? Now, if you have, after writing this equation, you have to just cross multiply. And if you cross multiply, X goes here, 600 into 100 divided by 15,000, you get, if you cancel all the zeros, some zeros, and 15 ones are, 15 fours are. So, decrease is in percentage is 4%. Okay, this is 4%. So, decrease means that is discount. Okay, so discount in terms of percentage is 4%. Okay, now here remember one point. Remember discount is calculated only on market price and not on sale price. This is very important point on this. Okay, on the discount. Okay, don't get confused in this. We will go ahead. We will see the another example. An Almira is sold at rupees 5225 after allowing a discount of 5%. Okay, find his market price or mark price. That is, this is the sale price now. Okay, and 5% uh, discount is given. Okay, so if this is a sale price, then his market price will be more. More by what? more by the discount if you consider market price market price if you consider this discount as a y then market price minus 5225 which is the sale price see it is given here is y that is market price is 5225 plus y okay market price y which is a discount is added now we will see here the same cross multiplication, we write the equation. In this case, is percentage first. Okay. So, as we are given percentage percent, we have to find out the rupees. So, we write the equation like this. Phi corresponds to 100. Then y corresponds to 5 to 2 phi plus y. This is a whole market price. Okay. Now, cross multiply. See this. So, we have cross multiplied phi into this equal to 100y. So, we take phi inside and again phi transfer to that side that is the minus sign is to 95y. Okay, very simple calculations. And if you take y on one side, then 95 will be divided by this. The whole con and if you get it, you get 275 rupees. You calculate it yourself. Okay, you get 275 rupees. So, in rupees, so it is given in 5% return and in rupees it is 275. 
okay we have to find out the market price okay we are not supposed to find out this so answer is not yet achieved okay so we have to find out that is market price will be that is why i given it like this 5 to 2 5 plus y okay so 5 to 2 5 plus 75 is 5 5 0 0 in rupees always do write this unit any anything in any example in this case it is rupees maybe centimeter maybe percentage maybe uh, kilometers anything you write this or you lose some marks which is uh, not advisable okay now you back check it back check this is just uh, just to check it you need not check in actual exam 275 divided by 5500 in 200 is you get 5 it's the same as 5 percent okay so that is what is about discount okay so we are moving ahead to the another topic finding cost price selling price profit percent and loss percent okay now here we see cost price is buying price plus overhead charges what are overhead charges is given in first video the definition and some equations are also given to understand this for related to topic on of or, or the whole topic so you can go and refer that so for here it is given cost price equal to buying price plus overhead charges okay now we go ahead with this that profit is sell price minus cost price okay now if sell price is more that you are selling something to more than what you have cost then of course that quantity is going to be a positive and you are in profit okay but for some reason if sell price is less than the cost price if you are spending much on some overhead charges for some reason then uh, maybe for damage or uh, for some reason then your cost price increases but still you cannot concentrate or uh, correlate this sell price for this then sell price is less than cost price and that is negative profit we call it as loss okay to understand this clearly we see the examples here first example is find sp sell price if profit of 5 percent is made on cycle of 700 with 50 as overhead charges okay so your cycle was oh, the buying price of 700 rupees but uh, some uh, overhead charges were there also rupees 50 so cost price is this buying price plus overhead charges that is 700 plus 50 is 750 now this is your cost price okay you need to consider this now not 700 okay then we go with this equation profit and sp sell price it's if you have five percent profit percent means on 100 rupees then if it is x on 750 so very simple equation and go for a cross multiplication do write this equation always then you will find the problem very easy and if you uh, cross multiply it 5 upon 100 into 750 and if you try to solve it that is 37.5 okay so your sell price is sell price will be 750 plus 37.5 it was 787.5 rupees don't forget these rupees okay sell price was more as you were in profit of 5 percent okay now we move ahead with this we move on to the other topic finding sales tax and VAT that is value added tax a flower pot was sold at rupees 450 okay read this properly sales tax charge was 5 percent find the bill amount okay now bill will contain sales tax also you will have to pay for this 
also on this. Now we need to calculate in rupees. So we write the equation is 5 percent that is on 100 if it is 5 then on 450 y y is unknown which we have to calculate on 450 so we write this equation and go for a cross multiplication and we get y on one side if you see this cross multiply it if you make uh, some practice you will uh, definitely be acquainted with this and you get uh, if you cancel this you get 22.5 rupees okay so bill amount will be item cost plus sale tax okay so 450 plus 22.5 the bill amount will be 472.5 rupees okay so when we when we bought it we'll have to pay this plus this okay another example to see what is a fan was bought at rupees 4400 okay what charge was 10 percent and was included in the price so this includes this VAT. see this is another type of example this was this price uh, was uh, as was not including uh, this sale tax but this is now which includes this VAT. okay so find the cost before VAT. If you see or if you consider the VAT as Z in rupees, then the price before VAT will be 4400 minus Z. And we have to calculate this Z. Okay. So we go for the equation that's 10, 10% corresponds to 100, then Z corresponds to this. This is the original price. Okay. See. Now it is very easy. You need to calculate only Z, and that give uh, give you direct answer. So you cross multiply it, 10 into this quantity into uh, equal to 100Z. Then you take uh, 10 inside, and now this uh, minus 10Z uh, cross the equal to sign, and it uh, changes the sign. So it is 110Z. If you uh, take Z on one side. You get this such type of equation. If you solve it, you get 400 rupees. 0, 0, 0, and all these goes. You get 400 rupees. Hence, the cost before VAT was 4400 0, 0 minus 400 is 4000 rupees. Okay. Do try to solve some uh, examples of this type, and uh, you will uh, get enough practice and try to understand it before uh, solving. Try to read it read it properly and see what is given what is asked what data is given how to use it and uh, write try to write this equation properly and we will be uh, finding it very easy but still if you face any difficulty i myself and dr bharat parap if you face difficulty write me in the comment box and i will definitely solve it okay thank you